Thank you very much, and I have to say that I am very glad to be here in this beautiful city of Odessa, and this is the third conference for the Black Sea stakeholders. <laughs> Odessa and the Black Sea region are very important, especially in the, in the Black Sea region, as a trading hub, as a transport corridor, and also as a tourism industry. Одесса, а также регион Черноморский регион являются очень важными для торговли в качестве транспортного коридора, а также для промышленности. We are also conscious, we are also aware that there is a good economic potential for blue growth for the blue economy in this region. A lot has been mentioned, especially as an example, um, uh, the tourism sector. Мы также знаем, что в данном регионе данный регион является очень хорошим для развития так называемой синей экономики. Очень о многом уже говорилось, но я хотел бы привести пример это туризм. We think that opportunities are not enough if these opportunities are not turned into real investment. And to turn these opportunities into real investment, uh, there is a lot to be done. All the speakers during this conference spoke about the need for infrastructures, the need to have adequate services, the need to have better connectivity, and the need to have accessibility to tourist sites and cultural sites. And the European Union is always there to support in these endeavors, to support in bringing to this region business certainty, to support in getting to this region more skilled people, to help in research and innovation. With these economic opportunities, there are also environmental responsibilities, and we have to exploit the economic opportunities whilst preserving the marine environment for our future generations. I have also explained how the European Union has been supporting and will continue to support this region, both at the technical level and also at the financial level. This region received 140 million euros between 2008 and 2015. We are engaged into investing in cross-border cooperation with the almost 50 million. We have like 49 between 2014 and 2020. And we also spoke about the opportunities of Horizon which is also available for cross-border um, investments between the European Union and also the European countries. 
период замерзла ведущая 14 лет 2020 года, а запланировано на часах практически 50 миллионов лет, что будет точно 89 миллионов лет, а также я хочу сказать, что у нас есть такая программа, как «Горизонт 2020», а которая предусматривает 3 миллиарда лет для маленьких компаний и для стартапов, которые будут работать в сфере инноваций. И также у нас есть Европейский фонд стратегических инвестиций, который предусматривает финансирование для стран, которые ограничены с Европейским Союзом. We are looking forward to strengthen the cooperation in this region and together with true cooperation and collaboration we can address all the challenges and we exploit all the opportunities. And before giving the floor to my colleague, Vice Prime Minister Christian, I would like to thank the Ukrainian government for helping us host this, this conference and for hosting us in this beautiful country. So I pass the word over to Vice President, Vice Prime Minister. И перед тем, как передать слово адресу премьер-министру, я хотел бы поблагодарить Украину и правительство Украины за то, что помогли нам организовать данную сегодняшнюю конференцию, а также за то, что принимаете нас в этой прекрасной стране и в этом прекрасном городе. Сейчас передаю слово премьер-министру. Спасибо. Спасибо.